than our tire look uninhabitants of this earth. Speak now if you can. What are you? Oh, hail Macbeth. Hail to the fame of Diamonds. Oh, hail Macbeth. Hail to the fame of Cawdor. that truth thy speak? But good sir, why do you seem to show fear? These witches, they do not speak of the high truth. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth, but greater. Not so happy, yet much happier. Thou shalt be kings, thou be none. So oh, hail! 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 <laughs> You shall tell me more! I think not. Here approaches King Duncan. Oh, hail Macbeth for his glory in battle, who shall be Thane of Cawdor, and my son Malcolm to be king hereafter. What? What say we have a big banger at Macbeth's house tonight? I say yes, I'll go alert Lady Macbeth. I will follow. Find something to stab him with. Duncan is already asleep. Okay. Spoon? No. Butter knife? No. Fork? Fork that. Knife? No. This? No. 
Katana? Yes. <laughs> Drink up, boys. Thanks, my lady. Macbeth, what seems to be the problem? I don't want to kill him, my lady. You bullheaded dunk! Do it! With thy sword, I shall send thee to heaven or hell. Jesus, Dunan! You fool! You've got to plant the sword on the guards! Go back and do it! I, I will not return! Fine then. I'll have to do it. Two. Duncan, I'm here for you! Oh, 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 the guards are. They passed out with blood all over them. Oh, oh my god! Ah, oh, horror! Horror! B murder! Everybody, wake up! Oh. Oh. oh! Malcolm, come quickly! What is lost? King Duncan is dead. There are daggers in these men's smiles. All to England! To get the king on my side. Kill Fleance and Banquo. It will be done. Tis a feast of kings. Macbeth, come join us. But the seats are all full. No, it isn't. We've reserved a seat just for you. There's someone there. No, there isn't. No, my lord. Sit down. <gasps> I shall not fear Macduff, because he is of woman born, and I shall not be slain till Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane. <sighs> she last walked. 
Since her majesty went into the field, I have seen her rise from their bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock her chest, take forth paper, fold it, write upon it, read it, afterwards seal it, and again return to her bed, yet all this while in a most fast asleep. She rises. Out, damn spot! Out, I say! What happens she do as she washes her hands? Who would have thought the old man to have so much blood? You see, her eyes are open, yet her senses are shut. I do not fear a man born by woman. But I am from my mother's womb, uh, untimely ripped. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing.